you've been through Why you got scars Since you walked through the door I've been trying to reach you Cause I feel you What's the story to tell? What's the story behind? The mountain you're trying to climb Think I've heard it before What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel or if you are brand new here and this is the very first time you ever see in your girl's face. What's up? I am Jen. Today I have another grocery haul and meal plan video coming at you guys. Where do we go this week? Target drive up twice and Aldi's and then threw in a couple online orders of course as well and then I go over the meal plan but I did end up finding quite a few yummy finds this week so if you want to see what I picked up this week to keep us trucking along on the 3 for 30 challenge and our health journey just keep watching. So here's our Target drive up order for this week. We picked up of course some of the Siete Lime grain free tortilla chips that my hubby and the daughter absolutely loved. Picked up some of this boneless skinless Alaska cod fillets the good and gather brand had pretty good macros and there they are 100 calories for one piece 25 grams of protein zero carbs zero fat so make sure you guys are looking out for the weekly vlogs to see how i prepare that got some all natural turkey burgers good and gather brand super easy for meal prep this week i will be filming a meal prep video of like super quick and easy things that you can do that don't involve a ton of cooking so make sure you guys are looking out for that picked up some more of the canadian bacon another super easy meal prep item for this week because that's just my life this week the vital farms pasture raised egg bites you guys know i love these this is the uncured bacon and cheddar cheese there's the macros for any of my newbies that haven't been around for a while. 240 calories, 18 grams of protein, five net carbs, 17 grams of fat. And they are delicious. Two of the 0% Faye yogurts. You guys know these Gilbert Craft sausages are like my jam, the sweet pepper and onion. Super killer ingredients, awesome macros, 100 calories for one, 12 grams protein, one net carb, five grams fat. I also picked up some of these this time. This is the Aloha, that's pineapple and ginger. I thought the fam would like these. They're a little more calories 120 calories and 12 grams protein which is fine i'm sure they're going to be delicious then i got a couple cans of cream of mushroom for a couple different recipes and then also a can of the cream of celery soup got a can of the 50 percent less sodium whole kernel corn Picked up a couple more of the Stir Liquid Water Enhancers. This is a strawberry watermelon. Picked up this big old jar of the Good and Gather Unsweetened Applesauce. No sugar added. Ingredients are legit as well as macros. 50 calories for a serving. I love me some good applesauce. Picked up some of the dark chocolate covered frozen blueberries that my daughter loves. 90 calories a serving. 1 gram protein. 9 net carbs. 6 grams fat. My daughter absolutely loves these. Got some of the Yasso fudge bars because they're just a super quick and easy snack when you're not like meal prepping a snack or dessert. These are just awesome to have in the freezer. 80 calories a piece and they're delicious. Picked up a case of these fruit cup snacks. No sugar added. Has the diced peaches, diced pears, and mandarin oranges for the little guys' lunches. And then they had a deal on the zero sugar soda. I wanted some of the Dr. Pepper too, but they were completely sold out and they had three for 12 or three for 13 i forget but everybody in the house loves these so i figure why not stock up when they have a killer deal but of course you guys know me i always forget something so i will probably have a second target order coming up after i have to go to all these in the morning so i will show you guys that haul in the morning and i'll probably have another target all these is up next got a pretty decent amount of stuff from all these you guys know i like to stock up on my produce there actually between all the stores I had a pretty decent haul this week we needed a lot of stuff so went ahead and stocked up on it but we'll go ahead and jump in right over here got some pink lady apples for the hubby and kids picked up some of the green seedless grapes because you know my guys go through those like crazy picked up some strawberries the strawberries they had there were like gorgeous and red but they were like as big around as my fists and strawberries just aren't naturally like that look at those on the bottom they're massive and that just makes me think like what are they pumping into these things to make them that big so I tried to grab the ones that were the smallest, which who even probably knows. But those are the strawberries we got. Got some of the mandarin oranges for the little guy. Picked up a bag of the russet potatoes. I have really been loving chopping these and doing them in the air fryer in like little cubes. And the hubby has two. And I have them on the meal plan for french fries this week. So grabbed a bag of those. Picked up a few of these ready to serve rice bags. They cook in the microwave in 90 seconds. I got long grain and wild rice, roasted chicken with herb and carrots. I got these for my daughter just because they're super quick and easy after she gets out of school and before she goes 
goes to work, she can just pop them in the microwave and pair it with some chicken or salmon or whatever she's having for that day. So it makes it super easy for her or she can bring them to school. She's in culinary in school and she can heat them up in her class and eat in there too. So just make super quick and easy options for her. And of course, had to pick up some more of the Badia Complete Seasoning. If you guys are OGs, you know this is my jam. Also picked up a carton of the liquid egg whites as well as a dozen of the cage-free eggs. I also picked up some of these. I got some of the regular kind plus I think it was like the sesame kind or something, which I didn't actually try, but I've tried the regular ones and they are phenomenal, like super, super good. And I saw these there. This is a Southwest style, 30 calories for one, five grams protein, one carb, zero fat. And they are like legit, like substantial and they taste awesome. I heated them up and they were phenomenal. So I can't wait to try that. I'll let you guys know how those are. Also picked up some zucchini for Taco Tuesday, some shredded lettuce. They don't normally carry shredded lettuce at my Aldi's but I saw it and I went ahead and grabbed it because I actually tried to get some at Target and they were out so it worked out perfectly. Grabbed a bag of that, got a three count of the mixed bell peppers, a bag of this fresh peeled garlic, some more of the garlic and herb avocado dip. My daughter absolutely loved this one last week. A couple of the English cucumbers because you know we go through those like crazy, a bag of fresh spinach, some bagels for the kiddos, and then this pizza that I showed you guys in my last grocery haul Everybody in the family absolutely loved it. Even the kids ate it and loved it. This hands down like the best cauliflower crust pizza that I've ever had. And I was stoked to see that they had more of them. So I picked up two of those. So that will do it for this week's Aldi's. Now we'll go ahead and jump into the second Target order for the week. Second Target drive up order for the week. I thought I only forgot like a thing from Target. And clearly I forgot a lot of things from Target. I was making the order and just like add more and more stuff on. But my brain is just not all completely there this week as you guys know just a lot going on I mean but honestly I'm at Target drive up I feel like multiple times every week anyways because that's just like my home away from home but I got a bag of the good and gather boneless skinless chicken breast tenderloins you guys know I absolutely love these picked up two cans of the mild rotel that we'll be using for taco Tuesday also for Taco Tuesday, I picked up a couple packs of the Siete Taco Seasoning. I do normally just make my own taco seasoning, but depending on what dish I'm making, sometimes I like to just throw in these pre-made seasoning packs. So went ahead and grabbed a couple of those. Picked up some of these Baby Bell cheeses. This is the Reduced Fat Mozzarella. I actually tried to get these last week, but they were sold out. And I saw that they had restocked this week, so I picked them up. And that will be awesome for a kid's snack as well. Also for the kids, picked up some of these ballpark bun-sized beef hot dogs. Picked up a thing of ground turkey. I already had one in the freezer, so I just needed one more for the dinner I'm making this week. And you guys know I love the Farm to Family brand. 93% lean, 7% fat. And then I grabbed a few snacks for the kids. I have the grandbaby this week, so I wanted to get some extra stuff that she would snack on, as well as some different things for a little guy to take in his lunch to school. So I picked up some of these peanut butter Ritz crackers. Grab some of these Good and Gather organic iced oatmeal cookie bars and some of these apple and cinnamon fruit and grain bars. And I think they'll like all of those. But I keep you guys posted. I know a lot of you guys are always asking about kids snacks. Also got the kids some ballpark hot dog buns to go with their hot dogs. Some cilantro for Taco Tuesday. And then picked up the hubby and I some of the ranch flavor Quest chips. This has been my jam for like a hot minute now. Absolutely loving those. Picked up a couple of those. And then just random not food, baby wipes. And then I picked up some of these Shea Moisture Manuka Honey and Oil Intensive Hydration Shampoo and Conditioner for dry and damaged hair, which is your girl because I'm always coloring, bleaching, putting a lot of heat, all of that on my hair. And I just feel like it like needs a boost of hydration. If you guys have any recommendations for shampoo and conditioner that you love that like helps moisturize, let me know down below. Okay, so not a ton of things for online this week, but of course I did go with another uh, multi-pack of the Zevia Energy because, hello, it's me we're talking about. And as much as I tell you guys every single week I'm going to try to cut back on caffeine, I just go through them like crazy. But 
they are 120 milligrams versus 300 in a bang. So I am doing better there, but got another one of those. Also, I haven't had the chili lime seasoning in like a hot little minute and they had this three pack for a good deal on Amazon. So I went ahead and grabbed that because you guys know I don't have a Trader Joe's that's like super close to me. Like the closest one is like maybe an hour away or something. So I went ahead and got that. This stuff is bomb like on everything. And then of course, can't have a week without Built Bar, right? They had the Built Crave. I don't think they're available still on their site. These are 160 calories a piece. They are delicious. They are caramel and peanuts. I also actually made a couple other orders that I just made, so I'll probably show that in next week's grocery haul from them. But again, always have them linked down below. Imogen will save you some money. Always make sure to check me out over on IG because I'm always posting over there in real time when they're launching new flavors, when they're having deals and sales and all of that and this is just an awesome way to have a good yummy snack and get you some protein in okay not a ton to go over for this week's meal plan because i didn't get to meal prep for this week i just didn't have time to meal prep meal prep saved me last week but i never even had time to do it this week and so kind of just like winging it for lunch throughout the week which you'll see here on the meal plan and this is very tentative because everything's just kind of up in the air right now so may switch leftovers for weeknights or whatever but I always leave a couple nights for leftovers you guys know on the weekends so if I need to swap out during the week because of whatever's going on but always make sure to tune into the weekly vlog so you guys can see how I switch this stuff up or what I do last minute so Monday going in with some hot protein oatmeal lunch not sure like I said just kind of winging it for lunch this week Monday night's dinner will be breakfast I love breakfast anyways I love doing breakfast for dinner so that's super easy Tuesday I'll be making breakfast wraps dinner will be chicken and zucchini Tex-Mex Wednesday breakfast same thing dinner will be baked cod and french fries in the air fryer Thursday will be egg bites. Whenever I don't meal prep, that's like a super easy go-to are the pasture-raised egg bites that you guys saw that I picked up from Target. Love those. Dinner will be Philly cheesesteak bowls. Friday, again, super simple egg bites. And then we'll be doing sausage peppers and onions on the Keto Culture hot dog buns with some french fries in the air fryer. And then, of course, Saturday and Sunday's leftovers. And God willing, I'll have time to meal prep this Sunday and film it for you guys so that I'll be better prepared for next week. And quick snacks for this week are pretty much the same built bars you guys know. Obviously, that's every single week. You saw the new ones that I got this week, and I actually have more coming. They have a white chocolate cheesecake one right now white chocolate raspberry cheesecake one right now it should still be available when you guys see this so check out the link below and with jen will save you some money stock up on those i'm a sucker for white chocolate so i definitely already ordered mine then of course quest chips string cheese the yasso fudge bars super easy and quick for snacks at night as well as the rice cakes and nut butter so that's what we're working with for snacks this week as well as the meal plan all right guys so that's a wrap for this week's grocery haul and meal plan let me know down below what are your favorite go-to items that you we're finding in all of your stores this week what are your favorite meals that you guys are going to pop them down in the comments below so that i can check some of those out as well and make sure that you guys stay tuned for next week's grocery haul because i am going to a new store definitely not a new store just new to me i haven't been in a gazillion years so i'm excited to go in there and check everything out and see if i can find some good finds so make sure that you guys are subscribed make sure your notifications are clicked that way you'll know when that video goes live also hit me up over on ig at in with jen i'll pop my handle on the screen here i'm sure i'll be showing some behind the scenes when we go in the store and check it out i am super stoked i know they have a ton of stuff there so i'm excited to stock up also let me know down below where you think i'll be going see how many of you guys can guess it but i hope you guys have had an awesome week and are ready to to rock and roll into the third week of the three for 30 challenge and of 2022 i hope you guys are all trucking along i am feeling and doing much better today than i have been the last couple weeks that's for sure we'll see all of that upcoming in tuesday's vlog so make sure you guys are looking out for that but also all my buff bunny lovers out there i want to go ahead and let you guys know by the time you guys see this it will be like a day after the launch but i know that they'll still have a ton of stuff available and i know a lot of you that follow me are always asking about all of my workout gear that I am wearing in my videos and on IG and I know a bunch of you love their stuff as well so if you didn't catch their launch that went live yesterday definitely go check it out they still have a ton of stuff I'm sure and this launch was like epic I totally like went in and bought way too much stuff 
but I'm sure that I'll absolutely love everything. I'm stoked for it to come. So just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that. I shared it over on my IG too, but all of you that don't follow me over there, wanted to go ahead and tell you guys too, so you can stock up on all the awesome feel good workout gear. Cause the better that you look, the better you feel, the harder you go in the gym, right? That's my thing. So definitely go check out Buff Bunny. And I know a ton of people are going to ask if I have a discount code. No, I don't think they even do discount codes. They just do like support codes for certain athletes, which I would love to be an athlete with them so you could send them a note and say that but no discount codes and their stuff is pricey but it's definitely worth it for me anyways i absolutely love it but enough about that i hope you guys enjoyed the grocery haul if you did give it a thumbs up i appreciate that more than you guys know i appreciate you guys watching and i will catch y'all in the next video I lose control.